welcome back one of the things you would have already observed is the fact that our login page still uses hard coded authentication what we'll do in this step is let's create a service in the back end the idea behind that service is whenever a user is trying to log in we'll try to hit the service and if the service returns a validated response then that means the user is authenticated otherwise the user is not really authenticated let's move to the back end and let's quickly create a service what i'll do is i'll copy the hello world controller and hello world bean into the basic package and you'd see a few errors coming in in this console because there are a number of methods with the same url path so let's remove the other two methods quickly and i'll change this to basic auth so the url mapping to this is a get request to a basic auth and the other thing i'll do is this is using which one so let me check which hello world bean is being made use of so it's used from the same package so what i'll do is i'll rename this all shift r right click refactor rename i'll rename this to authentication bean and i'll send a message saying you are authenticated at a later point in time you can actually send a lot more details as part of the response maybe the roles the user has and things like that for now let's send just a you are authenticated message back so this is the bean that's cool let's look, quickly look at the packages so we have an authentication bean and it's still called hello world controller nope this is not a hello world controller so let's call this as basic authentication controller right click refactor rename it should work and now you'd see that the application resetted fine so you'd see that everything is fine we have a new service created let's organize the import right click source organize imports or control shift o and all the unused imports are gone now we have a clean basic authentication controller the idea is very simple you'll be able to get here only if you send the basic authentication header and therefore when somebody is trying to log in what we want to do is we want to hit this url and if he's having the proper authentication details then we would return this response back most of the authentication is actually done because of the automated configuration by spring security in combination with the specific configuration that we provided i'm having a lot of fun and i'm sure you are having a lot of fun too security is a lot of fun topic and there was a lot of hard work in configuring all this stuff and getting them to work together i'm sure you're going to enjoy it further i'll see you in the next step until then bye bye